station. And this time I have a Polish beer from Brother Rockmill. Uh, juicy Melody, double India Pale Ale. It's tropical and uh, lots of dots. 7.8% ABV, uh, original gravity 18 plateau. Okay, what they what they say? Ingredients water, malted barley. Uh, oat flakes, corn flakes, sugar, yeast, and uh, hops. It's non pasteurized, and of course, it's hazy. Right, pretty striking um, label. In the two cans and the uh, what's this? Mandolins or something? I don't know. It's it's complicated. Mm, cup just a plain black, nothing interesting. So let's open it and try. Very pleasant um, maltiness. Uh, oh, nice carbonation. Yeah, so maltiness, not so much um, juiciness, but they are um, grapefruity and citrusy accents there. With no uh, of pine, so definitely the um, aroma. It's nice, but on a you know soft, low level. So I would describe it as a typical IPA aroma, but you know soft and, and you know quite delicate. Okay. Color actually pays straw, but nice carbonation. Um, little bit hazy, with some bits floating inside. Lots of dry foam left over. The carbonation effect. Let's have a try. Hmm. Carbonation is on the, I think, the right level. It's not too high and not too low. Very juicy. Grapefruity, uh, lots of exotic fruits as well. So mango, papaya, passion fruit, um, lychee, but also lots of um, citrusy, uh, juicy elements. So like uh, you know orange and mandarin and lemon, grapefruit, and touch of. Pininess. It's extremely juicy and, and drinkable. I think they achieved the um, effect of a uh, New England IPA. Bitterness is also uh, soft and, and um, quite low, but pleasant. Grapefruity, uh, 
with a repeater effect, you know, so you know, the white bits of the just be in below the skin. Uh, it's nice, but mostly it's extremely juicy. Even body is not very heavy. You know, it's double IPA, high high BV, but it's so drinkable, extremely drinkable. Uh, that you know what? You can't really uh, put uh, those two things together. Seven point eight percent BV and very drinkable. Uh, light body. I said light, but it's not empty. Uh, there is some sweetness, uh, there is some maltiness in it, uh, and you can taste the roundness of the you know uh, flakes effect there. It's very pleasant. I'm sorry. It was the gassy effect of the beer as well. So, very, very nice New England IPA. You know what? If I would, you know what? It's Mandarin. Lots of Mandarin there. Uh, It's not only zest but juiciness, lots of lots of juice. Pretty nice. And you know that this nice touch of sweetness here. Mm, lovely. So bitterness is there, quite delayed and you know quite a grapefruity type. Very nice beer. Yeah. If you can, buy it and try it. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on? This is interesting. Okay, I wasn't watching. This is interesting. Uh, I like this beer very much. Yeah. Touch of sweetness, juiciness, extremely drinkable beer. Um, Actually, I've bought it in um, Birkhoek? Oh, no. I will tell you in, um, in the comments. You know, in the description when I bought it. Uh, uh, you should, you should uh, see this in the unboxing cap video, I think. So, check it out. Uh, if you can buy it, it's, it's extremely good beer. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as you enjoyed this beer. So please like it, please subscribe my channel, hit the bell button. It will remind you about every new video on the channel, so you'll be up to date. And cheers, Nazdravia.